So, another month has gone by. So much has happened in this month. I want to take you all through it. We are looking, oh, some turds gonna come running down past the door, look. She's always never aware that I'm filming, look at her. Um, so this month, we're gonna take you through all sorts of bits and pieces, none more so than my operation. Obviously, it's never nice to have to face up to the fact that you're gonna to have to have surgery. I've ended up having it twice in the last month. I'm gonna take you behind the scenes of some of the bits and pieces that I've been doing. I hope you enjoy. Please subscribe, please share, and I'll catch you all soon. So I'm having an absolute stinker at the moment. Uh, I just can't stay fit. My ankle is not great, and it is doing my absolute head in. Uh, I hate watching rugby. I hate talking about rugby if I'm not playing it. Um, I'm sort of facing a possible operation um, which is not great. I've tried one last ditch thing to get it right, but I am losing my mind over it. This is the worst part of sport as well, when you can't do what you're supposed to be doing and everyone else is getting on with it and you're written off and it does your head in. So I'm not having the best time. I've also did uh, some Compex on my calves and I went overboard and now I can't walk probably. <laughs> my calves are in a spasm to end all spasm and I've got the worst doms in the history of the world so I'm having the worst day in the world but I'm going home now I'm gonna DJ for a, an hour get my head on straight and then I'm gonna attack the rest of the day I've got someone coming over to a photo shoot later uh, for some turmeric stuff from the turmeric co that I take to help with uh, inflammation and inflammatory stuff so yeah, that's my, my day, but I am not having a good day. I am not a ray of sunshine as I normally am. And a lot of the sports people don't talk about this, but this is what does your absolute bucking head in. It's being injured, not being able to fix yourself. And then for me personally, you know, every time I miss a chunk of time, you know, well, I should basically say every time I miss a chunk of games, time is not on my side. And that's the worst bit about it. Um, maybe that's self-imposed, I don't know. Maybe it's time to phone, phone the sports psychologist and get him back in the mix. Uh, anyway, the catch you later, later. So, before I go into all my operation bits and pieces and obviously the pre-surgery, the very fact that I've had to have surgery again, as you would have guessed, a lot of this stuff is kind of filmed in the past, so you're always gonna be a little bit behind what's been going on. Uh, it's trying to do things real time, it's an absolute nightmare. But before I go into anything, I wanna show you backstage at a TV show that I filmed. I really wasn't sure what I was getting myself in for, and I may or may not tell you what the TV show was because I hope it doesn't see the light of day. <laughs> but it also might be good, I don't know. But here's behind the scenes, here's what they offer you when you turn up to do a TV show. And it's not as glamorous as you may think. So I'm at uh, BBC Elstree Studios and I'm filming a TV show tonight called The Help If I Knew What I Was Doing, called <laughs> right, They obviously couldn't find any celebrities so they've got me involved. Um, it's quite relaxed, quite fun. Um, a few activities, a few games. Uh, I've got train tomorrow so I'm encouraging you to have a few drinks at the bar but I will not be doing that. Um, otherwise I'm just working on my new radio show at the moment and um, yeah, that's about it. I love how this is... This is my, my snacks. What, what we got in here? So this is the snacks, I've got some fruit. Lovely. Mars Bar Milky Way, obligatory, walkers. Only half a bag for 70 years. Some canned water. Oh, it's a free water bottle. Definitely having that way. What's in the fridge? More water, Wi-Fi. Shampoos, mirrored thing. Oh, would you turn that on? Definitely need that live. Uh, oh, here we are. Oh, look, the ultimate selfie mirror. Showbiz, full showbiz. And then just another mirror. So there you have it. There's my uh, showroom. Showroom, I believe. What do you call these places? Dressing room. Not that I'm really much dressing in here. Um, but it should be fun, I'm looking forward to it. So, uh, frustratingly enough, uh, I was right, I'm gonna have to have an operation. Uh, I've tried everything that I can possibly do to get my ankle right. I've had a few injections in there, I've done loads of bits and pieces and it's just not getting right. Uh, I tried to have 
one last running session. Uh, I just can't perform, I can't run as I would want. Uh, it's not fair on uh, the team or me to try to keep plugging away. So I'm gonna go and see uh, the surgeon, probably get operated on tomorrow. That's how quickly things can happen. Um, and I will come back stronger. That's the idea, you know, every time you get a disappointment, you've got to see it as an opportunity to improve and an opportunity to work on other bits and pieces. So first thing I'll look at would be controlling my diet making sure that I stay in shape, uh, hopefully try and help, um, you know, any boys at the club or do video analysis, you know, look after myself in the best possible way and come back and, and, and hit the ground running. You know, I'm still desperate to, to play and perform for, for Saints and for, for higher honours and, um, you know, there's been an opportunity to do that. So you've got to suck it up and, and just deal with the disappointment. Yeah, well, I'm having another bloody operation tomorrow, so this is not, Exciting. In any way, shape, or form, look. They're gonna drill straight through your cupcake. I'll drill through your cupcake if you <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll put some special gears on. Take your pants off. Oh, oh that's how it goes. Just for reference. What are these? Dressing gun. Special pajamas. Dressing gun. What is it? Mm. Break. I've got on. I hate operations. So anyway, it's going to be eight, nine, ten weeks of rehab, fun. You look after me. What? You look after me. Yeah. Hi. <coughs> I missed a bean walking around my ass out. Do I need to do that or not? Mm, hello. <laughs> so anyway, watch this space and it takes you the whole journey. From start to bloody finish. Start well. Can't do my fingers up. So um it's the day after my operation. Um I'm okay, not too much pain. I'm obviously got my foot in uh kind of a, not a plaster thing, but a bandage. Um, I was actually all right after the anaesthetic. I'm normally pretty rubbish, uh, but the guys at this this hospital were wizards. I felt actually quite brilliant. Um, I wasn't too out of it, was I? No, not at all. Um, so- You were the most normal you've ever been after an operation. Well. Although you don't remember it, but you didn't seem out of it. Well, that's good, that's positive. So anyway, so just on the way home now, got to rest up uh, for a little while. Got to keep my foot elevated. Going to be on the game ready, icing it, trying to be as profesh as I possibly can. And I'll let you know how we uh, how we get on um, very shortly. Um, so it is about six days post operation. Um, I've still got to have my foot elevated, um, and obviously it's a massive ball ache. I'm still on the crutches, which is quite painful. Uh, only painful in terms of trying to get upstairs. You have to hop on one foot, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Um, but I think I'm dealing with it okay. I'm being looked after extremely well by my partner in crime you can actually see her reflection she's just getting stuff out of the fridge but she looks like a potato this morning so we're not allowed to put her on <laughs> on the video um so yeah you know kind of just dealing with i have to go into training now um every day got to do a little bit of mobility stuff um obviously emotionally i'm okay it's a bit can be a bit down um sometimes just because you want to be out there playing and you know that you've got Kind of weeks and weeks of rehab but you know every little step is a, is a positive I, i've done a little bit of kind of minor weight bearing stuff getting the ankle moving which is which is good and i'm trying to smash my nutrition as well to make sure that i don't put on too much weight i've changed all my kind of calories uh, and my macros or when i say i have my head nutritionist chloe madeley um from the likes of the four week body blitz and the four week and what's the four week fat loss blitz no. uh, what's, the, what's the second one then just the fat Sorry, just a fat loss blitz, no four, no four weeks. Um, you know, just 28 days of maximum sorting your setup out. Um, so yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually okay. So it's day one, I'm still on uh, crutches and I'm back into Saints to start my rehab, the long awaited journey back to fitness. Oh my God, I'm falling over. Balancing one leg is not fun. He's just very kindly cleaning out my wound, which is pretty much healed. And I've been doing a bit of knee with the wall and now I'm ready to go and do some more mobility stuff and some more rehab stuff. Um, but it's fun, I'm off crutches. Yes! It doesn't seem like much, but I have not been able to walk downstairs for a long time. But now I'm free, I'm without my crutches, I'm about to do my first leg session, all in the world is good.
so it's a day off. Uh, I'm down to London um, today. I have to rest my foot. Uh, obviously, post surgery, my ankle. I say post surgery. There was a little bit concerned there might be some infection as there was a bit of seepage, which is a rank word. Uh, but actually, I think it's going to be okay. So I've had it up for most of the day. We don't do a lot of stuff at the moment together because Chloe's writing two books of three books, I should say, and preparing for a wedding. We live together. We just don't do anything. We do do stuff together, but not what you'd qualify as like a top date night. And um, so we're going down to London, we're going to go for cinema, we're going to see Fantastic Beats, Beasts 2, because we've got like a pot of You horses. wish we were going to see Fantastic Beasts 2. Uh, yeah, <laughs> Fantastic Beasts 3. <laughs> Your favourite movie. My favourite movie. Um, and uh, we're going to have a bit of dinner, Jim Kimchi in Hampstead, unbelievable Japanese. Don't tell anyone, nobody knows about oh, it. Alright, fine. Uh, we'll, we'll forget that. Out. And then, um, yeah, we're we'll running a little bit late because of her taking ages to get ready. No, because James said, I don't want to watch the rugby. Uh, I'll listen yeah, I always to say that. I always want to watch it. it. Because it makes him feel a little bit like agitated that he can't play. So instead, he just kind of follows it loosely. And then we like, couldn't tear him away from the TV. Um, which was a bit annoying. But we, we're, we're on the way. And we're also, I really like watching the rugby and I really wanted to watch it. Right, you know, you're robbing me of my like very rare occasional rugby. We're listening to it on Radio Five Live, so we're trying to get the best of both worlds. They say about the time I went on Radio Five Live to do an interview for something, and then they <laughs> they asked me what my favourite football team was, and I said I don't watch football because it's full of wankers. <laughs> and they're like, "Thank you for joining us today on Radio." You said that live on radio. <laughs> yeah. God, you're a dickhead. Right, anyway. Am I wrong? Am I wrong? I don't no. think I am. Well, anyway, difference of opinion. Yeah. Anyway, well, so we'll, um, yeah, we're just gonna relax, enjoy ourselves, put our feet up, and we're gonna decorate the house for Christmas tomorrow. Yeah, and you're gonna do a faux turkey. I am gonna do a faux turkey. I've been given a special recipe. A turkey. Um, which I'm gonna cook on my tray, Traeger barbecue. But Chloe is has not Skeptical. stopped complaining about it. Skeptical. No, 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 no. Okay, stop. Because you know what? When you say it like that, people mm. are like, "Oh, your missus is a nightmare." You never give the backstory. You never give the context. I am cooking. It's not time of the day. I am cooking the whole Christmas lunch, the whole thing. James has decided that he is going to cook the hardest thing and the most important thing, which is the turkey, and he never cooks, ever. Like, he just doesn't cook. So I'm A, a little bit like, oh, fuck, okay, well, you know what, babe, if you want to do it, do it. But I'm a little bit nervous, but it's fine. Look, just do it. Have fun with it. And then I ask the normal question that somebody who's cooking the rest of the meal asks, how long is the turkey going to take to cook on the Traeger? Because I have to time the potatoes, the vegetables, the sausages, the whole thing, the stuffing. How long is the turkey going to take? I need a timeline. The answer, I don't know. It doesn't really work on time. It works on temperature. Yeah. So there is a very highly likelihood that the turkey will either be ready hours before or hours after all the other oh, things. The answer is chill out, right? And, and for someone with OCD, like, I'm cooking us our first ever Christmas lunch. That answer does not work for me. Right, well, we'll sort it out. Okay, we'll, be, we'll catch you later. No, look. You have like zero. You just don't care about Christmas lunch. I'm just going to buy you a McDonald's. I am back in hospital again. Uh, it's been almost three weeks, actually three weeks today since my first operation, and uh, one of the wounds on my foot is not healing properly. Even though I've been super profesh about everything that you need to do, been icing it, obviously you've seen for the footage. I've been back in the boot, I've been using the crutches, but this is one of the frustrating frustrations you have to put up with. Sometimes stuff doesn't work as well as we want it to work, uh, and sometimes things take a bit of time. Um, you know, motivation-wise is, uh, you know, for me to be back playing how I want to play on the field. Obviously working with Sky, watching the England games um, was, was good, but was also hard. You know, I'd love to be out there with the guys. I'd love to be out there at Northampton playing. You know, we've had uh, a couple of good wins recently. Boys have been on fire. You just want to go out there and play. You want to do what you do best. You know, it's all well and good doing stuff on social media and driving around in diggers and making these videos, but you want to do what your what your passion is, and that's playing rugby. So uh, I'll knuckle down. Uh, hopefully nothing goes wrong, and I'll be uh, back before you know it. So it is uh, after my operation. My second op, uh, it actually wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be. It was pretty simple. I was actually awake for the entire procedure, which was pretty cool. And I was just off my tits to be having a really good time. It's the same stuff that they use, which uh, killed Michael Jackson. So you can see why I liked it. Obviously, I won't be taking it or 
doing it again, hopefully. Uh, I know that sounded ironic, like I was actually going to do, but I, I would never uh, do that, or would I? <laughs> I don't know why I'm talking as if I would. Um, and I was uh, pretty, pretty cool actually being open, uh, you know, awake, seeing everything, having a chat. Um, procedure was pretty straightforward. Reopen the, the the wound, clean it all out, stitch it back up. So hopefully I'll be off feet for five days, elevated. I'm on the game ready again, icing it now as we speak, and then uh, I'll be back into training. Uh, which hopefully will be uh, not too far behind where I was uh, because my wound was okay actually for a, a couple of days. So I went in, as you've seen on the video, did some training bits and pieces uh, and got some good range back in my ankle. So I was actually in a good, uh, a good place. So I will look after it, ice it and uh, get ready to roll. So gang, there you have it. That is another month. That is another episode of Diary of a Player all done. Obviously, I've taken you through my operation. There was a little stop off for a uh, TV show in the middle. Next month, we're going to have all sorts of exciting bits. Hopefully, I'll be doing more rehab. We're going to see some more behind the scenes footage. If you like this video, then please subscribe, please rate, please share. And uh, I'll be seeing you all.